High in the hills of Los Angeles, tucked just below the world-famous Hollywood sign, there's a surprisingly serene and beautiful lake. But this calm body of water, the Hollywood Reservoir, hides a dramatic and terrifying secret. This isn't a natural lake at all. It's a man-made vessel held back by a colossal concrete wall called the Mulholland Dam. And for years, it held back more than just water. It held back a wave of fear that swept through Hollywood, threatening to unleash an unimaginable disaster on the city of dreams. This is the story of the ambition that built it, the catastrophe that nearly broke it, and the desperate scramble to tame the billion-gallon dam that absolutely terrified Hollywood. To understand why this dam was even built, you have to picture Los Angeles in the early 1920s. It wasn't the sprawling metropolis we know today, but a sun-drenched city exploding at the seams. The booming movie industry was turning a quiet town into the global center of glamour, but all that growth created a massive problem. The city was incredibly thirsty. Water was the lifeblood of LA, and the city was in a constant, desperate race for more of it. The man in charge of quenching that thirst was a figure as legendary as any movie star, William Mulholland. As head of the Bureau of Water Works and Supply, Mulholland was a titan of civil engineering. A self-taught genius, he saw the dry landscape of Southern California as a canvas for his grand plans. In 1913, he completed his masterpiece, the Los Angeles Aqueduct, a revolutionary system that stretched 233 miles to drag water from the far-off Owens Valley to the city. But the aqueduct was just the delivery system. Mulholland knew LA needed a network of local reservoirs to store this precious water, ensuring a steady supply. He found the perfect spot, a natural, bowl-shaped canyon in the hills right above Hollywood. It was a deep basin with steep, rocky slopes that could hold a massive amount of water. Here in Wide Canyon, Mulholland would build his next monument, a dam designed to hold two and a half billion gallons of water and secure Hollywood's future. Construction began in August 1923. For over a year, the sounds of heavy industry echoed through the Hollywood Hills as an army of workers erected the massive structure. Mulholland and his team used a design that was innovative for its time, a curved concrete gravity dam. The physics were beautifully simple. The dam's own enormous weight pressed it into the bedrock, while its elegant curve pushed back against the immense pressure of the water, channeling that force into the solid rock of the canyon walls. When it was finished in December 1924, it was an engineering marvel. Standing 211 feet high, the Mulholland Dam was a beast of steel and concrete. The reservoir behind it, officially the Hollywood Reservoir, quickly filled, creating the shimmering lake we now call Lake Hollywood. For a few years, it stood as a proud symbol of LA's ingenuity and a promise of prosperity written in concrete. William Mulholland's reputation as a flawless genius seemed just like his dam set in stone. But about 40 miles away, deep in the foundations of another, nearly identical dam, a catastrophic failure was brewing. One that would not only shatter communities, but also destroy Mulholland's legacy and cast a long, dark shadow of fear over the Hollywood Reservoir. Just before midnight on March 12, 1928, the St. Francis Dam, in a remote canyon north of Los Angeles, collapsed. It didn't just break, it completely disintegrated. A 140-foot-high wall of water, an inland tidal wave, roared down the Santa Clara River Valley, traveling over 50 miles to the Pacific Ocean. The flood wiped out everything in its path, erasing entire towns and killing an estimated 450 people. It remains one of the worst civil engineering disasters in American history. In the aftermath, as the horrifying scale of the disaster became clear, a chilling fact sent a shockwave of panic through Los Angeles. The St. Francis Dam had also been designed by William Mulholland. Not only that, it was built using the same principles and was considered a sister dam to the one in Hollywood. To make matters worse, Mulholland himself had inspected the St. Francis Dam on the very morning of its collapse and despite being told about new leaks, had declared it safe. The man who brought water to Los Angeles was now seen as the man who had brought death. His career was over, but the crisis was just beginning. 
all eyes turned to the Hollywood Hills, to that 2.5 billion gallon reservoir hanging directly over thousands of homes and the world's most famous movie studios. Suddenly, a symbol of security became a source of pure terror. Was the Mulholland Dam a ticking time bomb? The public outcry was deafening. People living below the dam were terrified, demanding the city take action. The pressure on the city was immense. A broken William Mulholland told the coroner's inquest, the only ones I envy are the ones who are dead and ordered the reservoir lowered. But public fear persisted. A city panel declared the dam safe while a state commission strongly disagreed, urging it be abandoned. The conflicting reports only deepened public panic. LA faced a full-blown crisis of confidence. In the end, a final review board reached a drastic compromise. The dam could remain, but only with two major changes. First, the water level was to be permanently and significantly lowered, never again to hold its full capacity. Second, and most dramatically, the city launched a massive reinforcement project. Between 1933 and 1934, a gigantic earthen berm, a man-made hill, was built against the dam's downstream side. Around 330,000 cubic yards of dirt and rock were piled against the concrete, burying its beautiful, curved face from view. This enormous buttress provided physical support, but more importantly, it was a psychological shield. It hid the face that looked so much like the one that had failed, finally calming Hollywood's fears. Today, the Mulholland Dam still stands, its concrete face hidden behind that massive earthen shield. The terror it once caused has mostly faded from memory, replaced by a love for the tranquil park it now anchors. The reservoir's job has also changed. To meet modern water quality rules, the city built huge underground tanks nearby to hold the area's drinking water, and the Hollywood Reservoir was returned to its original purpose, an emergency backup supply. But its most important role today is recreational. The area, known as Lake Hollywood Park, is a beloved LA landmark. A 3.5-mile trail circles the water, offering a flat path for walkers and joggers, as well as some of the most stunning ground-level views of the Hollywood sign. Its quiet beauty has even made it a popular filming location, appearing in movies like Earthquake and modern shows like 911. From a symbol of a boomtown's boundless progress to a terrifying specter of doom, and finally to a beloved landmark, the Mulholland Dam has had quite a journey. It's more than just concrete and water. It's a physical story of Los Angeles' ambition, its anxieties, and its resilience. It reminds us that just beneath the calm surfaces of our world, there are often incredible stories of challenges met, disasters avoided, and fears overcome. The billion-gallon dam that once terrified Hollywood is now one of its most peaceful retreats. Thanks for watching.